more from our correspondent, Helen, who is joining us from the nation's capital, Abuja. Helen, the world over, there is that concern about the gap between the government and its citizens, especially when the issue of inclusion is raised. If we look at Nigeria as an example, how wide would we say that gap actually is? Uh, I, was idea, I will tell you that the gap is very, very wide. And then this has resulted to a lot of Nigerians losing interest in democracy practice in the country. And it has also given to voter apathy. Uh, today you find out that only few people actually represent, uh, go out to, to cast their vote to choose their leaders. Remember, democracy is the government of the people by the people, which means that the government, the people are the ones who are supposed to elect their leaders. Uh, but today it is not so. Only few of them do take on this task. Uh, the recent uh, presidential election that just that was conducted, it shows that uh, about nine, about 83 million people who, cast, who, who went out to register, less than 29 million of them actually went out to cast their votes. So what mm -hmm. happened to the rest, to other people who actually casted their vote, who, who registered, and even those who are there that did not register? And even for those of them who even go out to register, only few of them still even follow up after the election and all that. Only few of them are even ready to hold the parties or the government accountable of their party manifestos and all that. So the gap mm -hmm. is very, very wide, and the government still have to do a lot to ensure that this is restored. And then this is one thing that actually prompted the team for this year's International Democracy Day, the United Nations Democracy Day, which says participation. The citizens mm -hmm. must participate in the government of their country. All right then, Helen, we uh, would see how all of this turned out. Helen Osamide Akins, our correspondent, joined us from Abuja.